stumbled and insult you, and then later when you see him, say hi, mm -hmm. how are you? But you see, if you don't do that, bring your evil to yourself. See, don't blame other people what they see. Don't go with what other people do to you. Go within yourself. Everything is the Father forgive. If tell your mind, forgive these people. If you know you are God, you know God has brought you to here, to experience eh, the evil and the good. Those are the two people, you go to run away from them. There's no way you go to run away from those two people, two, two things. Mm -hmm. No matter what you have. There's nothing external which is going to help you. It's just your, your mind. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful and so true. And again, like, when you learn about that and know you are God, those other people's thoughts, they can never affect you. You know what I mean? It, it can, the first thought initially, but then you just got to remember. And then you remember that they are gods too. And then you may just see it as, okay, maybe that person, you know, in the Bible it says, Father, and this is so important, and especially what we're talking about, you know, Father, forgive them for they, for they do not know their sins. And what that means is they're unconscious. Father, forgive them because they're just unconscious. And so that's the attitude. If someone does me wrong or hurts me or whatever their case is, projects their insecurities onto me, Father, forgive them for they do not what they're doing. And, it, and I'm saying that in a way that maybe that person's unconscious. They don't know that when what they're saying to me is what they're saying to themselves. The thoughts that they have about me is what they have about themselves. And when people realize that everything that comes out of their mouth has been so positive, uh, will be positive. You know, again, like just here in the beach, for example, again, I talk about my girlfriend. I'm with Leticia. Do you know how many people have stopped over and come and said, excuse me, you were just really beautiful women. No race, no, it doesn't matter, people from, but you could see in the, a lot of those people who do that, maybe they don't know that, but they're doing that to themselves and they don't realize that that compliment, you come and stop out of your day and give a positive person to someone to make someone feel amazing. Again, we want to be neutral with positive and negative, but for someone to come and say that to your face, it's a reflection of maybe how they feel. And it's always, so when you know, okay, people's thoughts and opinions, it could just be a f reflection of their state of mind. So you can't really take a personal and you move forward. Yeah, so that's all. I hey guys, I know you're enjoying this video, but please take the time, hit the link in the description and sign up to Alois Rubash's new screen. You can sign up either monthly or for the year to really invest in yourself, to really cultivate your mindset, cultivate the power of who you truly are. It is all about the knowledge and power that you have with it. And it is the application of the knowledge that is going to take you far in life. This is an investment that is infinite, that has infinite amount of supply because coming to Alois Rabatch's teachings, experiencing the word of God. And what is the word of God? It's about empowering yourself. That is what we're putting here for you. We're cultivating a community of like-minded individuals for people who want to grow, for people who want to continue to cultivate that mindset of, I can do anything I put my mind to. I can go out and work on my health, work on my happiness. Nothing outside of me is gonna make me happy. I can work on my love and my beauty because I have everything. I am an amazing person. You are too. So hit the link in the description. It's gonna take you to sign up for your Uscreen membership today. Now I'll try to tell you. So everything you say, when you say, Father, mm. forgive to them. Who, who Father? Who is the Father you're talking about? It's your mind. Mm. Everything you are saying through you see in the Bible, see yourself. My mind, forgive to these people. It's telling you. It's telling you. It's telling you, forgive these people. Somebody insult you, and then later when you see him, say hi. Mm. How are you? But you see, if you don't do that, it's bring your evil to yourself. See? Don't blame other people what they see. Don't go with what other people do to you. Go within yourself. Everything is the Father forgive. If you tell your mind, forgive these people. Because of course, you say nicely, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know why they're saying that. Because you, you know why you're saying that. See, that is the power. And other things you say about when people praise you, that's what call the word of God. When you hear word of God, what, what do you think? Is, do you think it's just a, a voice is going to come from heaven, you know? Or oh, people generally think the Bible as well. Now, 
the word of God eats you, your mind. Yes, because your mind is God. And you know what? The power of the word, it kills and saves life. When I say kills, not killing people dead. But what I'm saying, I mean, if he meet somebody, say, wow, you look beautiful. See, that is the positive word from God. It makes you, it builds you, it makes your mood good. It makes your mood be happy. Mm -hmm. So, now somebody goes to say, look, how you look? Why? Why you can do like this? Why can you wear like this, like that? So, that is another word from God, another mind of God. It tells you that, and then that word is going to kill your mood. So, whatever you get from outside, it's you go to control within yourself. Mm. See, people keep saying, "Oh, I'm going to uh, to forgive, but I will never forgot." See, For, what, what do you mean you're not going? You, are, you don't have choice what you to, you forgot. Mm -hmm. No, because this is the power of mind. Your mind, if you want you to forgive something, you can forget it. But your mind can bring it any time. That's why you don't know when God's coming. People think that God's coming is going to come from heaven and then come to the street in somewhere in Africa or something there. People keep waiting for God to come. No, God comes to you every day. Every your mind, God comes to you to change to you, to give you something you desire, to give you good word or to give the bad word. Always you never know God wherever it comes. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and I'm sure you're going to love that one.